Namaste. So we were talking of Mercury. And in the previous video, we have learned how Mercury behaves our intelligence, thinking, thought pattern, and uh, what we expect from things to happen. There's a very important point as Mercury indicates the intelligence, as I have already told you, is also indicates the focus that we have in our life. And along with this, it also indicates the areas which we considered most important, right? Which we consider most important. And as uh, if one is not able to achieve things in those areas, they may have dissatisfaction and discontentment, which actually makes their life very miserable. And we have learned all the aspects related to it. Now going further, uh, there is one very special point with Mercury that it always remains either in the house where the sun is situated or the previous house to it or the next house to it, right? This is with Mercury. Now let's try to indicate what it does imply. For that to uh, know, we have to understand what Mercury and sun signify. Mercury signify intelligence, forecast, analysis, focus of mind, business, education, thinking pattern, right? Along with this, Mercury is also a prince. Prince for whom? Prince for the sun, right? Sun is the king, Mercury is the prince. And the life of the prince, because the prince is not grown up to become another king, the life of the prince is revolving around the life of the king. King who is the resource giver and who gives everything to this prince, right? Along with this, uh, Mercury also signifies extramarital affair, right? And many other things as well that we will learn slowly. Sun, on the other hand, is the king. It indicates the resources. It indicates the soul. And very importantly, sun indicates the god. Right? Uh, like uh, in Vaidic astrology, it is sun who indicates the temple. Right? So Diti, indicated by Jupiter, Whereas the God or divinity is indicated by sun. Now let's try to understand this. Starting with Mercury in 12th house to sun. Now try to understand this point. As I have already told you, planets in 212 to each other are not in synchronization. But there is one thing when we go deeper into it that we understand planet, second house indicate family, wealth, resources. And what is family? Family are those people who support you, right? Like if you run out of money, family gives you money. If you run out of shelter, family gives you shelter, support. The support system, right? This is the second house. So planet in the second house is supporter to the planet which is in the 12th house, right? It is when Mercury is in the 12th house, the planet who is coming in the support is sun, right? Sun is going to the second house of support, family, authority, finances, and the eyes, right? Second house also includes eyes, food, right? Food is also resource. We can work and we can do multiple things that is because of food right to do anything we need energy that energy we derive from food now when mercury is in the 12th house and sun is in the second house being in the position of resource this is a prince horoscope you know this is a horoscope which is a prince where the father figure the deity the resource is on the giving end. Whereas Mercury in the 12th house have the have a simple duty of uh, disposing those resources, right? These people are lucky as they are very resourceful because of sun in the second house, 
right? For anything in life, they don't have to struggle, right? To start a business, they have support from parents. To do things, they have support from parents, right? They have a resource which they can tap into and get things done easily, right? So this, this is a horoscope which is blessed in many cases. Right, sun being in the second house, these people are very energetic, very thoughtful. They think well, and generally their assumptions are good also. You will see such people are generally ahead of uh, their competition. And what people think after two months, they can think at it before. And this, this is a very fortunate setup. Generally, they have issues because second house from Mercury is having a uh, sun. Generally, such people have glasses, specifically for the reading purpose. They have eye-related issues. And most importantly, these people achieve name, fame, success. Quite easily, they always have a father figure and supportive figure which help them in every area of their life. They, they are lucky, they have good support from gods as well and remedies. Whatever they do, even the smallest remedy, give them the maximum result. On the other hand, when Mercury is in the second house and Sun is in the twelfth house from it, in that scenario, the blessing that gods give you, the authority, the resources are not there. They are already replenished by you in the previous life because horoscope is a film, negative film of picture, right, from the previous life, right? So when you have Mercury in second house to sun, you have to make your luck yourself. There is hardship. There are no resources and no support. Generally, such people have a family which is dependent on them. They have to work hard, make money, uh, make those resources and provide it to the family. Generally, they don't get any kind of support. Their education also have hurdles, many and times incomplete. Generally, it is seen that they are not able to either complete their education or pursue that field of education that they want because of the want of money. Generally, they have good eyes good health as well but they uh, become quite weak early and they have early signs of uh, aging as well right basically this is a condition where everything starts from hardship and person through his own hard work and self will have to make things and then enjoy that this is a scenario where you work very hard in your uh, young age and uh, childhood days to enjoy life at the later part of life in the old age generally they they have many people dependent on them and they have to take care of all easily fatigued susceptible to many diseases though they have a long life but uh, health is uh, not very supportive they have good good eyes good in speaking and generally influence people Right, But this is a difficult scenario where the person is not having any kind of support and they have to make everything on their own. Even remedies or worship doesn't work for them until and unless they put a lot of effort. Right, There is no point in life where they can sit idle and expect for some miracle to happen. Even it is not the case that they have they get they do 50% and expect 50% result to come by luck, not at all. In all the situations, they have to work 100% to get the 100% result. Otherwise, it becomes a difficulty. So generally, uh, Mercury in the 12th house from Sun indicates a very resourceful and a blessed life, whereas Mercury in second house from Sun indicates a situation where you have to work from scratch to make everything and you enjoy it in the later part of life. Mercury in the second house uh, from sun gives you a troubled childhood and young age and you enjoy in old age. 
whereas mercury in the 12th house from sun give you a blessed young age and childhood days but uh, the old age can be a bit difficult though i should uh, like uh, caution you here at one particular point there are many other ways to see which part of life will be most blessed one for example ascendant this, this is my favorite technique ascendant we seen for childhood fifth house we seen for young days and ninth house we see for old days right so if all the three houses are good complete life is good if the lagna is afflicted childhood is bad if the fifth house is afflicted young age is bad if the ninth house is afflicted old age is bad right so accordingly you have to decide right like this is one of the technique but there are many other techniques as well and whenever you are going to predict anything make sure to synchronize three four formulas together before predicting now coming to mercury with sun see this is uh, like not a very good scenario mercury have a combustion uh, degrees of 10 right so direct mercury get combust 10 degrees on either side of sun retrograde mercury gets combust on 8 degrees either side of sun either before sun or after sun even they can be in two different signs right you say mercury is at 28 degree in capricorn and sun is at 2 degrees in aquarius still because mercury falls in the 8 or 10 degree uh, span of sun it is considered combust when mercury is with sun 50% of the case it will not 50% 30% 30% of the case it will be combust 33% to be precise 33% of the case it will be combust and remaining cases it will not be combust now in the case when a planet is combust the rays of the planets are not reaching earth right because the rays of the planet is not reaching earth the result of the planet is almost deform and this doesn't only apply to the natural signification of the planet this also applies to those houses which is lauded by the planet right so in that scenario say mercury is the fifth house lord he is combust with sun intelligence ministership position progeny education thinking thought pattern scholarship these results are not coming to the person right so the person is not having a child not completing his education not having a good mentality not having a good thought not having a good thinking and these things come into play right so when mercury is with sun and mercury is combust focus intelligence resources enjoyment in life these things are not there whatever the person thinks speculates or predicts to happen not only about others but their projection of their own life may not go the way they think but can be absolutely opposite generally in those cases where mercury is combust you will see a person born in a very good family which everyone expects to do good as well end up doing bad right the projections are not working the way they are supposed to there is the first one because mercury is combust business is not successful big mercury also indicates communication right so they want to communicate a particular way but they are misunderstood people misunderstand them people misunderstand their thought they may have a very good intention and purpose but they are misunderstood right and along with this because mercury is the prince which indicates enjoyment in life and that is combust when the time of enjoyment comes young age and old age the person is not able to enjoy because of responsibilities over them when mercury is good or because of their because of their wrong decisions that they have made in earlier part of life they are not able to enjoy it when the mercury is in a bad rashi this happens when mercury is combust when mercury is not combust but still is situated with sun in that particular scenario the person is spiritual intellectual they can predict anything that will come true 
their idea about people, their judgment about people is absolutely correct. Many a time such people, even though if they are not astrologers, their predictions and assumptions about people are so true that you can mistake them as predictors. They are the like the most blessed predictors can do very good in astrology or other predictive sciences which are concerned with uh, predicting the future. Along with this, such people are very authoritative and very good in business, earn good amount of money, get good, good profits in life, and they are born in a good family, authoritative family, rich family, family who have a lot of resources, and they exceed the expectations of the society and they themselves lead a very good, successful, prosperous life, giving more prosperity, more success to their family and people dependent on them. Very intellectual, always thinking good for everyone. Always thinking good of everyone. And a very, see, Mercury indicates, as I told you, Mercury indicates extramarital affair. Prince, right? he's a prince, he don't have a responsibility. He can have many affairs, princes have. No princes, not princess. Princes have affairs, right? When Mercury is with Sun, one will not have affair, dedicated and devoted to their marriage. Because they have a good mentality and good thinking, they are also considerate about the feelings, thoughts of others. They always consider what their actions, deeds, words, and how it will impact others. And they are basically very caring and thinking about others as well. Right? These are the results. So basically, uh, otherwise also, Mercury in the second house and 12th house from Sun as well. Remember this, Mercury is the Garaka of extra metal. Golden line I'm giving. Leave all the rules of extra metal, take Mercury. When Mercury is afflicted, one will have extramarital affairs for sure. Close your eyes, predict it. I take my name. And when Mercury is not afflicted, when Mercury is powerful, one will not have extramarital affair, even if they have to remain unmarried for a lifetime. Doesn't matter. Right? Mercury in the 12th house is the most fortunate position where the person is already blessed by almost everything in life. They just have to claim their destiny. Mercury in the same house with sun, when combust is the most terrible combination, the thought, mentality, thinking of the person is not good. He is a nuisance to himself, he is the nuisance to society, and he is a nuisance to everyone. Because his mentality, thought, and thinking is not good, he is destroying his life himself. And also because his mentality, thought, and thinking is not good, he is creating a problem to everyone who is around them. They will be with their friends, will think bad of their friends, and even when their friends comes, come to ask their advice, they will try to give them a bad advice so that the bad happens with the person. Extremely bad. When the sun is with Mercury and Mercury is not combust, this is gem of us. As I have already explained. And when Mercury is in the second house from sun, this is a person self-made. He have to be self-made. He have to make everything by themselves. Self-made who also support others. Right? This is the basic. Now, Mercury with Sun also makes the most famous Buddhaditya Yoga, otherwise known as Bhaskar Yoga in South India. Some people consider Buddhaditya Yoga as a Raja Yoga that I don't consider. <laughs> Extremely sorry. See, so Raja Yoga is a connection of two good houses, right? First house, fourth house, tenth house. Three Kendras, fifth house, ninth house. Two Konas. If the Lord of these two houses are connected, only then it is a Raj Yoga, otherwise not. Right. So Mercury Sun conjunction also. Can it be a Raj Yoga? Not until and unless Mercury and Sun are the Lord of Kendras and Kodas. In the Leo Lagna, Sun will be the Lord of first house. Mercury will not Lord any Kendra. Sorry, Kona. One have to be the Kendra Lord, another have to be Kona Lord. When Sun is the Lord of the fourth, 
that will be in the case of uh, Taurus ascendant. In the case of Taurus ascendant, when Sun is the Lord of the fourth house, Buddha Aditya Yoga can happen. In the case of Sagittarius ascendant, Buddha Aditya Yoga can happen. And in the case of, uh, yeah, only in these two ascendants, only in the case of Taurus ascendant and only in the case of Sagittarius ascendant, a connection of Sun and Mercury will make Buddha Aditya Raja Yoga. Right, which is uh, Raja Yoga is the yoga which gives you name, fame, status, comfortable life. Many people working under you, like so, it gives you good professional life and good name, fame, status, good achievement in life. Many people dependent upon you. Basically, a comfortable, influential, successful life, right? But this becomes Raja Yoga only for Taurus or Sagittarius people. For other people, it is not a Raja Yoga, but it is a normal one. And when you see a normal combination, how do you see it? You see it by mixing the significations of the planet, right? So sun is the karaka for God. Mercury is the karaka for prince. So are you blessed by God to become a prince and enjoy life? This is seen through the relationship between sun and Mercury. When they are together, you are blessed to enjoy as a prince by the blessings of God, but Mercury should not be blessed, right? This is not a Raja Yoga. As per my personal observation, to be very honest with you, those who have Sun Mercury combination in Kendra, first, fourth, seventh, and tenth house, or in Konas, first, fifth, or ninth house, I have like I don't consider it as a Buddha Aditya Yoga. I also don't consider it as a good yoga, also, to be very honest with you. Right? I have personally seen that Buddha Aditya Yoga, Sun Mercury combination in Kendras or Konas is not very good. Going opposite to the popular opinion that people think that Buddha Aditya Yoga will make someone intelligent and well to do. These people I have seen a maximum, see if I'm allowed to use the word, I will say they don't understand things properly. Right, saying fool is not an appropriate thing. They don't understand things properly. So I will for an example, let me tell you something. So there was a class. At the end of the class, I give a lot of material to my students, right? Generally, I email it to them or do things like that. So I told to the class that send me your mail address. And I will send this particular PDF. This, this was a PDF that I made. I don't share PDF of others. That was a PDF that I made and I wanted to share it with my students. Now for course, there is a course group. Everyone sent their mail ID in the course group. There were three people who sent their mail addresses to me personally in the personal chat box. Um, it is a mail that I'm going to forward. If all the mail addresses are at a single chat, I can just copy it, paste it and forward the mail to all. But because of these three people, I have to leave the group, go to their personal chat, copy the email address, and then paste it. These three people surprisingly had some mercury combination in Kendra's or Kondas. So generally, these are the people who don't understand things properly, overexcited, or having a very wrong aristocratic notion of themselves that our way of thinking, our way of thought is right. What do we understand it was the other person meant? And they generally misunderstand things because of not listening properly, not thinking properly, or because of having a wrong notion about themselves or about themselves. On the other hand, those having Sun Mercury combination in the second house, third house, sixth house, eighth house, eleventh house, and twelfth house are very intelligent and beautiful people. Specifically, those having Sun Mercury combination in the sixth house. They're very intelligent and beautiful people. They can, even without you saying a single word to them. See what I told you, Sun Mercury combination, when the, sun, when, they are, when the Mercury is not combust, makes a person have a good intelligence. Right? Intelligence is not only about thinking, it is everything. When to speak, what to speak, how to speak, Right. If I say something, uh, how it will influence the other person? Will he motivate him, demotivate him? What it will do? What it will not do? Right. All these things 
is mercury right mercury indicates communication those having sun mercury sun mercury combination in second house third house sixth house eighth house eleventh house twelfth house specifically in the sixth house right because sixth house ukchaya ever growing third house after sixth house right and eleventh house after third house those having sun mercury combination in these houses are very beautiful people very considerate they know when to talk what to talk how to behave they know how to motivate others even if they talk to someone who is going to commit a suicide after talking to them for 2 hours he will cancel his plan to commit suicide will get swayed by them such people are beautiful orators good influencers they understand other person very well and they are so beautiful that you should have at least one such person by you in your life so that whenever you are in a dilemma problem confusion you discuss your problems with them take their ideas and as i have already told you some mercury combination whatever they will uh, assume analyze or tell will come true they should always you should always talk to them take their opinion and work as they advise and you will for sure achieve success these people are the paraspakar which can turn uh, iron into gold just by touching these people are those uh what it is called alchemist stone in your life that you should have by your side for sure. two combinations sun mercury combination in the third sixth eleventh house one second moon in the sixth house as subhas chandra goes has now moon in the sixth house somehow i will say it is a person who plays good politics who knows what to do intelligent for himself not for others sun mercury combination in the 6th 3rd 11th house intelligent beautiful people helps the complete world and these people sun mercury combination in 3rd 6th 11th 2nd 12th 8th house or moon in the 6th 12th 11th or 3rd house people with extraordinary intelligence and i am not saying learning or knowledge i am saying intelligence they know what to talk how to talk when to talk which way to talk to motivate the person demotivate the person get the things what they want and take my word never ever debate with these people specifically having mercury in the 3rd 6th 11th 2nd 12th 8th house talking from experience don't debate is my only thing. is it will be my only advice thank you for watching the video namaskar